Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the GE dishwasher door interlock switch. It's going to be a very easy repair, and it's only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new door interlock switch. The door interlock switch tells the dishwasher when the door is closed, the main reason to be changing it out is if it's failed and the dishwasher is not going through the cycles. In order to get to the part, we have to take the console off, so we're going to open up the door a little bit and use the Phillips screwdriver to take out the screws that hold the control panel on. We're going to remove the top six screws on the door. Once you have all the screws up, we're going to carefully lift up on the control panel so it comes off the door. Once you have the control panel free, we're going to close the door. You don't want to latch it, but just let it go closed. And then we have to reach down and disconnect the ribbon cable from the control board. Just have to reach in and carefully disconnect it. Once you have it off, you can set the control panel aside. Now we can take out the door interlock switch. We're going to put a towel down underneath it, just in case we drop a screw. You don't want it to go inside the door. Once you have the towel in place, we're going to grab a Phillips screwdriver and remove the lower screw. Once you have the screw out, we're going to release the locking tabs around the outer cover. There's three on this side and three on the other side. We're going to use a small flathead screwdriver to help release them. And then as you're releasing them, you want to pull on the cover so they don't relatch. Okay. Once you have the cover off, you can pull it off and set it aside. Now that we have the cover off, we're just going to take the plunger and the spring off so it doesn't fall off and get lost. Once you have it off, you can set it aside. And then we're going to grab the switches individually and pull them out of the housing so we can take the wires off. We're going to do the one on the left first. It's got the double black and the black with the white stripe. We're just going to pop the switch out. And then we can use the small flathead screwdriver to help get the wires off. Once you have the left switch off, we can do the same thing to the right one. This one's the one with the double white and double white with the red stripe. Once you have the right switch off, you can set that aside. And then we're going to use the Phillips screwdriver to take out the upper screw that holds in the housing. Once you have the screw out, you can pull the housing off the dishwasher. Here's the old door interlock switch next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. Before we put the new door interlock switch in, we're going to have to take it apart just like the old one. So we're going to release the tabs and take the cover off. Once you have all the tabs released, you can lift the cover off and set it aside. And we can take the plunger and the spring out. Make sure you don't lose the spring. Then we can take the switches out. If they're in there pretty good. You can use a small flathead screwdriver to pop them out. Once you have the switches out, we're going to use the Phillips screwdriver to attach the base to the door. Before you tighten it down all the way, make sure the wires aren't caught behind the body. Now 
Now that we have the body mounted, we can attach the wires. We're going to do the ones on the right first. Remember we had the double white on this connector. Then the double white with the red on the other connector. Once you have both wires connected on this side, we're going to set the switch in place. And you want to make sure that the wires go through their little cutouts. Once you have that on, we can put the switch on the other side. And that one was the double black on this connector. And the black with a white stripe on the other one. Once you have the switches in, you can put the plunger back in. If your door latched, you want to open it up a little bit so it doesn't hit the plunger. And you want to make sure that you put the flat side towards the inside of the dishwasher. There's a little cutout right here on the plunger that has to go on that little rib right there in the body. Once you have the plunger in, you can put the cover back on. All I have to do is line it up, snap it into place. Once you have it on, we can put the lower screw back in. Use the Phillips screwdriver to put that in. If you have to, you can push the switch over and line up the screw hole. Once you have the new door interlock switch installed, you can pull the towel out and put the control panel back on. To put the control panel back in, we're just going to line it up and then we can hook the ribbon cable up to the control board. All you have to do is carefully reach in and plug it in. If you have to, you can use a small flathead screwdriver to carefully push the block in all the way. I'll make sure you get a good connection. Once you have it in, we can open up the door a little bit and we can set the control panel on top of the front panel. Once you have it in place, you can open it up a little bit more and use the Phillips screwdriver to put the screws in. Once you have all the screws in, you can close the dishwasher door, plug it back in, and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.